So what we're up to today is uh, just a bit of freshwater fishing, chasing after trout. So mid-April, uh, pretty cold. There's still quite a lot of snow in hills. In fact, there's fresh falls on the, the hills, I think, last night. Bright and sunny this morning, so probably not the best of trout fishing, but lovely day to try out the, the canoe anyway. It's my first time on water. This is an alley canoe and it's a, a lightweight collapsible design from the bottom. And it's been around for decades and supposedly it's a lot tougher than it looks. So my first time out in it, so I guess we'll find out soon enough. Well that was hard going. <laughs> uh, I made about three or four schoolboy errors of that one. Um, so I'll need to work out how long that took, but it took ages. An awful lot of clattering and banging going on. Right, let's get some coffee on the go.
Oh well. That is my first trout of the year. Not saying very much, is it? But uh, anyway, it can just go back now. Uh, just a wee thing. I can, I can just about squeeze a tent in here uh, take the wee one along so should fit nicely enough and shouldn't be too windy tonight so I'll weight her down with stones but she should be okay in the sand and there's a bit of a room in the view really I mean if you look up there that's the Glencoe Hills behind it Paddle back. Uh, the wind picked up a wee bit there. So I was having to go some. But... Some total to date is one trout and a couple of lost ones. But, uh, uh... We fish on a spinner this time. I think they've gone down a bit deeper with it, getting dark, well, getting colder. There we go. Another wee thing. But again, I guess it proves there's something down there. Because it's felt very quiet at times today. Anyway, off he goes. In case you're wondering why I'm using this setup, because I took the wrong rod with me. I thought I'd taken my telescopic spinning rod, but in fact, I just took a wee lightweight fly rod. It casts well enough, to be honest. So. I'm not going to give it much longer because I'm ne nearly drifted back to my little island um, and I think I'll probably just head ashore after that. I guess I should have stuck to the spinners earlier. Probably the biggest fish of the day to be honest. I'll hold it as close to the camera as I can, it will not make much difference. Anyway, it 
All right, back ashore again. So I'm just making up some dinner. Uh, absolutely nothing sophisticated tonight. So I'm just kicking off with a cup of soup just now. And I've just got one of these Wayfarer boil in the bag meals. Uh, that's the water for it on the go just now. So what's this one? Chicken tikka and rice. Uh, had it before, it's pretty good. So, too tired to bother cooking to be honest. That's a lot of paddling today. Far more paddling than fishing I have to say. Especially in these winds. I mean not that the winds were very strong to be honest, it's just that the, the canoe tends to get blown a bit. Nice. Push this little thing up. Right, Let's give it a few minutes and see. Oh, I think it's one of these. Looks a bit minging, but uh, tastes okay type of meals. Certainly hot enough, so I'll get this down me. And then uh, decide whether I bother going out again or not. It would only be a very short session, but see what I feel like. Anyway, get some food inside me. Slightly better one. Yeah. Maybe three quarters of a pound, something like that, if I'm lucky. Well, we'll just get some coffee underway and uh, you can see what it looks like this morning. So, a bit greyer than yesterday, but uh, not too bad. I reckon it's a two coffee morning and then uh, head out in the loch. Probably just spend a few hours here. Um, and have a, a fairly early finish, I think. There was just enough wind there to make it a little bit difficult for somebody like myself who's not the most experienced of paddlers and uh, 
probably not the fittest either. We one on here. Just a wee thing. Look. You get some idea here on the islands as to what the rest of the ground would look like if it wasn't so overgrazed. It's just uh, covered in moss and these are all boulders just dumped by the ice. But uh, a pretty wee island. There's usually geese around but uh, I haven't seen any today. Yeah, you can probably hardly make it out in this camera, but uh, the two islands over there are the furthest away ones where I spent the night. It's just a tiny wee islet, but uh, quite comfortable. Tucked nicely out the wind. So A wee bit thing. Probably a bit skinny at this time of year. Another wee one on. Most of them have been about that sort of size, so they're quite small, but fairly thin as well. Yeah, we... That's a nice setup, nice and comfortable for the night. I think my efforts pale by comparison. But there's a couple of guys. Uh, out further down the loch, just fishing, so uh, looks like, like a fairly comfy setup anyway. Anyway, I'm going to do a wee bit more fishing here, uh, not for very long, and then going to make my way back. There's a wee bit open section of the loch, get across that, and then have a wee fish in the shelter of some of the, the wee islands close to the road.